the you know one of the things about the patient education is uh, you know it's just not good when you don't show up with tapes because guess what that tells me when you're training somebody and they don't show up with tapes what does that tell you that they're not doing it they're not training right say so i know there's not shit happening with your skill level on patient education and it's below 50 percent right see i know that and i'm sitting here going that you guys don't realize that's a big problem but you don't realize it you're just sitting on it and the only way to overcome it is is to do your tapes show up with your tapes and get your ass ripped because nobody else is going to rip your ass I know. nobody's going to give a shit about how much you make except your wife and every other chiropractor is going to be jealous. You're looking at the only person that's going to hold you accountable. So whether you're willing to accept that and take the next step and improve yourself, it hasn't shown good. I mean, I haven't heard anything from you guys in probably six months with patient education. Yeah, I don't even know what the tape recorder is, to be honest with you. Last time I saw it, we moved and, the room. And, and if an associate doctor said that to me, you know what I'd have said? Go find it. Get your ass in gear. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. First of all, there's no way he would have not shown up for six months. I wouldn't have let him. Mm -hmm. You know, this gets back to this self-discipline thing. I mean, you guys can either work. Remember, you heard me say the saying, you can either work the first five years of your career and uh, relax the rest of your career, mm -hmm. or you can um, relax the first five years of your career and have to work the rest of your career. And what's that based on? It's based on knowing how to do everything early in your career so you know how to have a high profitable machine and coast it. Where if you never learn it in the first five years because you just kind of fucked off, then you'll have to work the rest of your career. Right. It's complacency. That's what I think we're comfortable. Yeah, you're, you're, you're trading off. You don't realize you're trading off your quality of lifestyle in the future for your complacency right now. Right. You don't realize that. 